game of Go Fish. There are lots of different ways to play Go Fish and today I'm going to teach you a way using doubles and near doubles. I can't wait to play it with you. Okay, boys and girls, so we're going to play a game of Go Fish and we're going to teach you how to do some um, Go Fish using doubles. So you're going to need to play a, game, a pack of playing cards and you're going to take out all the picture ones. So you take them out first and then you're going to put all the number ones in the middle like a fishing pond. Today we're going to play um, using doubles. So we're going to get seven cards each. So Katarina, can you get your seven cards? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to get mine. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one more is seven. Right, we're going to think about if we've got any doubles first. So I can look straight away and I can actually see that I have double three. So I'm going to say double three is six. Your turn, Katarina. I have double six and double six is 12. Well done. Um, okay, I have double one and double one is two. So I'm going to put them over here. I also have double eight and double eight is 16. Okay, okay, I've run out of doubles and so now I need to ask, do you have a 10? Go fish. Oh, I need to pick it up. Do you have a nine? Go fish. Mm, do you have a two? Yes. Okay, so now I'm going to take her double, and I know double two again is four. Do you have a four? No, go fish. Okay, I've got double seven, and I know double seven is 14, so I'm going to put them aside. Okay, we're going to stop that game. That's how you play Go Fish using doubles, and now we're going to show you how to play it a different way. Okay, now we're going to play a game of Go Fish using knee doubles. So knee doubles is when you can say um, double a number and one more equals the amount. So we're going to have a go at um, playing Go Fish and teach you how to do that. Katarina, can you count out your seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great. One, two, three, four, five, Six and one more is seven. So you're going to think about the numbers that are near doubles. And I'll give you an example. So here I've got, I don't have an example. Do you have a four, Katerina? Mm -hmm. Okay. So Katerina has a four and I've got a five. So I know that, I'll just move that where you can see it. Katarina has a four and I've got a five. I know that double four is eight and one more is nine. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So we know that double four is eight. I've got eight there and one more is nine. So I know that that's a near double that I've used to find out the answer of four and five. So we're going to put that aside. Well done, Katarina. Um, I'll show you one that I have now. So I've got a two and a three. So I know double two is four and one more is five. I'll show you what that looks like again. Double two is four and one more is five. So I can say that I can put my pair away because I found a near double. I Katarina, do you have one? I have a nine and a 10. Can you tell me about that? I know that double nine is 18 and plus one more is 20, 19. Good. <laughs> Well done. Great. 
Okay, oh, I've got one as well. Mine's a big one as well. I've got a seven and an eight. So I know double seven is 14 and one more is 15. So I'll show you what that looks like again. So I'm going to make seven. six and seven and I know I'm going to make double seven so I know double seven is 14 and one more is 15. great I'm going to put my pair aside so let's keep playing Katarina um, do you have a no, go fish. Do you have a nine? Go fish. Okay. I have a near double. How do you know that's a near double, Katarina? Because double two is four and plus one more is five. Great, good job. You do have a near double. Ooh, okay. Uh, do you have uh, another two? Go fish. Do you have a four? Go fish. Do you have a six? Go fish. Do you have a six? No, we're both after sixes today. No, go fish. Okay, I did find another one of my doubles. And it's one that I actually had before. So double seven is 14, and then one more is 15. So you keep playing like this until you get to the, the end of the pile, and it, you might get to a point where you can't actually make any more knee doubles. So once you get to that point where you've played all your cards out, you might then pop your cards down on the table. So let's pretend that we've played all our cards out, and we've made as many knee doubles as you can, and you might do a show of hands, where you're looking at each other's cards and you're trying to make some knee doubles. So let's have a look and see if we can make any knee doubles. Oh, no, I don't think it looks like it, Katarina. Mm -hmm. If I had an eight, I could make a knee double. If you had a four or a six, you could make a knee double. The number up or the number below. If you had a four and a two, no. We can make some doubles, but that's not part of the game at the moment. So then these cards would go away. We'd say, no, we can't use those ones. And you would add up how many, how many pairs of doubles, uh, knee doubles that you got. So that's two ways of playing the game. You played it with doubles and you played it with knee doubles. Have fun.